My name is Greg Hallinan. I am an assistant professor of astronomy here at Caltech. So I built a new instrumentation uh, to try and detect radio waves from extrasolar planets, planets orbiting other stars. Detecting those radio waves would provide the first window on whether or not those planets can host life. How I came to uh, be involved with the KISS workshop relates to a project that I currently lead, and I wanted to make sure that we were on the right path. So we all came together and began to discuss what are the signatures of magnetic fields. When the Earth experiences an aurora, that's because we have a magnetic field. Is there a way we can detect that? Here we're showing two examples of a hypothetical star that experiences a coronal mass ejection, throwing tons of magnetized plasma out towards hypothetical planets. In this case, for example, one without a magnetic field on the left, one with it on the right. And as we see, the one on the right is shielded from that activity and for that reason is able to sustain an atmosphere and possibly life. If you wanted to detect the Earth as a planet with radio waves, you want to be observing at just that right time. But that happens very rarely. An extreme magnetic storm is once per decade. So I realized that the old technique of pointing a big telescope in some direction for a few hours at a time just wouldn't work. We needed to figure out a way to monitor all these planets simultaneously. We've built a telescope that doesn't use big dishes. It uses very small antennas. And small antennas see a lot more of the sky. However, we need lots and lots and lots and lots of antennas. So we actually have hundreds of antennas dotted across the desert in the Owens Valley. And now we image all the sky instantaneously. And I want to now kind of take the concept of monitoring space weather to uh, an industrial scale and monitor thousands of planet hosting stars simultaneously. The means by which we do that survey was really motivated by the understanding that I learned from other planetary scientists. You bring together groups of people at the boundaries of various disciplines and you explore the new ideas at those boundaries, finding where the gaps in knowledge of one science benefits from the, from the expertise of another science. These wacky ideas that come from these workshops really take legs and grow. And that's what KISS is. And it's really challenging and it's really exciting because you really are germinating new ideas. It's very unique in that regard.